Before one video contains explicit language, which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. They're watching my shit, you are a bitch. And you might be a pedophile. They're not, they don't realize that what they say and do on the internet has repercussions. They really don't. They don't realize that when you have a following on the internet, you have a responsibility to make sure that what you're saying is at least semi-accurate because people will believe you as the Bible truth when you say shit like that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Sinner's Commentary. Today, we're in a very serious topic, and this topic is going to definitely... Um, well, I, I say definitely. Some people, it may or may not, but I am praying that it gives you insight to how the <clears throat> so-called content creator, the toxic ones, of course, function. And how did that, I mean, has everybody ever asked, how did, you know, Philip, DSP, how did Low Tier God, how did Review Tech USA, how did Wings, how did the Pauls, you name it, how did they rise to as high as they are? How did they get there? Has anybody ever asked that question? How on earth did they get there? Well, it's going to be explained in this next clip because you'll find out who is the true power, who is the true master, who is the one that keeps these men prominent and women, mind you. These are the people that, that will support as the, the corrupt, the most evil, the most insidious, all the way down to the to the bottom dweller, to the guy that's just toxic. There is no lack of fans or supporters. And as, as weird as this may sound, or as creepy, or as angry, or as angry you may get when you hear this, but do you know that there are people who look up to Dark Side Field? There are people that look up to low tier God. There are people who look up to these streamers and they live vicariously through them. And the sad part about it is that we, and I, don't, I think at least I didn't really want to accept it more than anything else, but here's the, here's the hard truth about that. None of these toxic streamers would have ever gained any traction if they weren't supported by people that feel the way they do. You know, if it's an act for some, some of them, the people that believe them and keep their word is gospel. So if they get out and say, if, if Phil got up and said Grand Theft Auto sucks, even if the consensus of the entire internet enjoys it, there will be a small group of Phil supporters that will say, I hate it. You can't get as high as a platform as they get unless there are people that idolize them, that they, they believe in them. And for the most part, when the toxic streamer, when the toxic content creator speaks, he's speaking as if they're speaking and they support that. When they make racist rants, there are racist folks that love and support them. I wish I could say that. There are people, that, there's no age gap here. From the elderly down to the youth, there is a there is a toxic streamer for them. Someone and, and guess what? Here's the thing that's scary. Let's 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 first figure out how. So let's take Joe Blow. Oop, that's actually a streamer. Okay. So let's take let's take Groundskeeper Willie. That's the guy's name. Groundskeeper Willie. Started out with three subscribers. Two of his two, two of his, one of his boy and one's his wife. And he gets on YouTube and says some almost racist things. Almost. Overnight, he'll blow up. I mean, well, maybe not overnight, but if he hits the right, if it reaches the right audience quickly, he can blow up overnight. If he starts to go on the angry rants, if he's going on about whatever, this, there is someone, there is a listener that wants and trusts and believes and feels the same way he do. And here's the part that should get even more frightening. There are hundreds of people that believe that. What happened on our capital 
that wasn't just a few hundred people. Thousands. There are people at home cheering. There are people that were cheering. There were law enforcement that was in support. Because the power lies with this, this small clip from Gladiator. You're going to see this. Listen to what, listen to this truth, and we're going to keep going. 150 days of games. It's cleverer than I thought. You really think that people are going to be seduced by that? I think he knows what Rome is. Rome is the mob. Conjure magic for them and they'll be distracted. We'll take away their freedom and still their war. The beating heart of Rome. Not the marble of the Senate. It's the sand of the Colosseum. You bring them death. And they will love him for it. Do you know how true that statement is? The kingmakers are the supporters, the super chatters, those that subscribe to the Patreon, to these toxic streamers. I'm making that clear. Toxic streamers. That could be subjective, but if they're at the magnitude of low tier God and DSP, that's the, that's the bar. If they're at that magnitude, they're a toxic streamer. Period. And still, there are people who love and support them and believe in them because those, you know, those toxic streamers are speaking for them who they believe they don't have any voice. I don't like black, so I, I, don't, I really want to say that, but there's a streamer plays games and he makes fun and mocks the very thing that I wish I could say. There, for every nut, there's a wrench. As sad and pathetic as it sounds, DSP has his, his defenders, his advocates, and those that are willing to throw the last dime they have at him, and they will take a bullet if necessary. Low Tier God, Review Tech USA, you name it. There is a crowd that's willing to stand with someone that can speak for them. What happened on our capital was what was not just an attack on our democracy. It was a it was a it was an expose of what happens when a man or woman can tap into that 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 anger that anxiety, that rage, that repressed emotions. And he'll become their speaker. That goes for every politician, Trump, Biden, whatever, you name it. They're all going to have proponents. They're all going to have advocates, people that believe and trust in them. There's no shortage of that. So you, what you saw on the Capitol that day was a, was, was a, was a, was a, on-screen display of the mob mentality. You had thousands of people all believing everything that the former president was saying. Whether he believed it or not, or not it doesn't matter. Philip, no different. Low tier God, no different. There are people that when they speak, their supporters are whipped up in a frenzy. They'll go troll. They'll go out and do whatever it takes. Quit talking about my favorite content creator. I love him. He's the greatest thing since skim milk. You don't know what you're talking about. I, I actually got these messages already. They're doing great in their community. They ain't doing nothing in their community. And if a, if a rapist was giving back to the community, that doesn't, that doesn't absolve him of, of his crimes. If a, if a verbally abusive husband was doing everything he can to terrorize his family, but he happened to be the philanthropist of the year, that family still has to be has to be healed and, and tended to. That doesn't get him off the hook. But see, the mob can create a king. They can create and boost these men.
that they're this mouthpiece. And let's be honest, these toxic streamers, they're the mouthpiece of the people that support them. Guarantee it. A detractor could get a one-on-one -on -one with any of the toxic creators, right? Get a one-on-one -on -one with any of their, their supporters. I mean, their diehard supporters. And nothing will move. They won't change. They will not change. There'll be a few that might. But it'll be painful for them to pull away. Why? Because so much of what that toxic streamer said, they wanted to say. They just didn't have the courage or the stupidity. They wanted to say something, but they're... they're there's repercussions in their circle if they say something. If I go around saying, you know, Negro, that Negro, you know, the N word, the gamer word. If I was walking around saying that all day long. And I'm white. Making fun and making jokes and I live in the hood. I'm gonna get my ass whooped. It's going to happen. But I live in that neighborhood and I'm frustrated because I believe that the circumstances that I'm in is not fair to me. There is a politician. There is a streamer. There is a bookseller. There is a religion for that person. And from there, they now have a platform to speak through. If I can just have, if this man is speaking for me, he says the things that are on my heart, I'm going to support him. And the mob is the creator and the backer of the toxic streamer. Here's the thing that's even crazier than that. All the power lies in the mob and they don't even know it because they can shut down any of these toxic streamers in a, in a cold heartbeat, but they don't because they trust and believe in them. They absolutely do. And today we're gonna learn why. We're gonna go knee deep inside the center's heart and found out why. Now, yeah, we can look at that. I put this article here so you guys can look at it for yourself, read it, have fun with it. But I'm gonna sh we want to see the psychological aspect of how the secular world thinks about it. And then we're going to handle what the Lord says about it. And he's been saying about it since mankind came out of, came out of, uh, came out of his breath. Since dirt was created into a human being until now. We get, we get to see this. We want to see it up front. So let's go ahead and keep moving. And we're going to go to this part. So this is the social psychology. You know, remember, this is subjective, but there's some truths in here. You know, there are three, they're saying three calls, but let's go ahead and look at each one of these. And we can start to look at, you know, the toxic streamers audience. And here's something else that's interesting. So just so we can use, so we can get some more context to that gladiator speak, when what that little clip that I had. Remember what, what at the end of it, he says that, you know, the 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 issue is, is the Colosseum. The blood is where it is. They, he's going to they, they're going to the Colosseum is where the money is. The death and blood, the combat is where the money is. That's the comment section. The sand of the Colosseum is the comics, the comment section of the toxic streamer. And there are those that go in there that are not prepared for what could happen. And it, it happens that way. And it's funny. And here's the part that can also be a little challenging or get to the point where it might put me, it put me at odds with some detractors. Detractors empower that mob. Because remember, you're attacking their hero. Well, you, you know, you probably get asked, what about the Rittenhouse thing? We're getting there, I promise, brothers and sisters. But let's look at this list this list is pretty accurate because it's biblical. But let's keep, let's watch. De-individualization. De when people are part of a group, they experience a loss of self-awareness. Very true. They get to be just that voice yelling with the rest of them. Identity. When people are part of a group, they can lose their sense of individual identity. In the comment section, you're just a name. You can change that name any way you want, but you're just a name. You can fabricate whatever you want behind that name and be that fictional guy or girl. You can create a persona that you can live and breathe. And guess what? You'll start to believe and trust that. That's why it becomes like an addiction. That 
you think these streamers that are every day, their supporters are there every day, regardless if they got to be at work or not, they're not going to miss them streams because their identity is in those streams. Emotions, being part of a group can lead to heightened emotional states, be that excitement, anger, hostility. We see that in the comment sections all the time. Tell iced coffee that feels a piece of trash. Watch what happens. Tell one of low tier God's staunchest defenders. He's trash. Watch what happens. Here's the other thing. When you get enough people that all are living on their emotions, which are in these comment sections, if a genuine dude rolls up in there on groundskeeper Willie's toxic stream, they might batter him to crap. They may beat that dude down and he's out of it. And he might have been genuine to say, well, I just want to know why he's always doing this for money. Why is he always using that word? And they just bad white where you come from, bro. You don't know. They can tear him apart. And it happens every day. Acceptability. Behaviors that are usually seen as unacceptable become acceptable when others in a group are seen carrying them out. Abusing each other becomes normal, standard practice. It's the SOP, standard operating procedures. It's everyday things we deal with in the comment section. You got, again, it goes to those people that want to say something, but they can't because they may lose their job. They can't because they may they may get punched in the face. They can't because it, it may end their marriage. It can't because if people may lose respect for them. It, it, any of those things you pick it they'll find it acceptability they could be accepted in the crowd because they're all going one direction they're all going one direction anonymity people feel anonymous within a large group which reduces their sense of responsibility and accountability in the comment section nobody knows who each other is and with that becomes an empowerment that you can speak and say whatever the hell you want to the toxic streamers, of course, what he accept, will and will not accept. But you don't have to feel bad about saying, well, I think I think everybody that low to God it says about him is right. I think that when he attacks uh, transgender, they deserve it. He can't say that in real life. He, he can't say that at his job. But in a comment section behind a fake name, and a fake persona, and a fake picture, he can say whatever he wants, especially when it lines up to his toxic streamer. And guess what? There's no one to say, man, you're doing dirty because everybody else in there is doing the same thing. Nobody else is, man. And this goes for the toxic streamer, the streamer, and the detractor comment section, as well as you name it. No one's excluded from having that mentality, but we're talking about the extreme cases, right? I hope to God you don't, you're not agreeing with me in the comment section just because you're entertained by the videos. I hope to God that's not true because that's not the reason and role I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this to illustrate my own failings and using a character study to show why this happens every day. You're more than welcome to disagree with me. I do not want anyone following subscribing blindly because all he says what i'm saying if you have a voice i stress to you to use it because i want to hear about it you are an individual and i see you as an individual i will recognize you as an individual and i will treat you as such with the same respect that is expected to for me to give to you because god commanded me to love my neighbor i will do that but you got to remember, there are people in comment sections that embrace this anonymity. They enjoy it. They can say whatever they want, close the account, start it up again, and nobody can say nothing. They could be as vile, as destructive. They could say just as those heinous words ever, and it stays on the Internet attached to that username. But it's not him. Unless someone, of course, you know, screenshot do things like that. Diffusion of responsibility. Being part of a group creates the perception that violent or unacceptable behavior is not a personal responsibility, but a group one. That's an easy one. Well, I saw Willie, I saw Willie doing it. 
So if he's doing it, it can't, you can't get after me for doing it. If I saw, if that guy donated and he could say, you could read his stuff. Why can't you, I don't, you can't read mine. Why is he, uh, -uh wait a minute. That's not fair. You can't say that I'm a racist, but can't call that guy. This whole chat is racist. They're all saying these things in the comments. See, they can always say that. They can always pass the buck. Well, he, he's doing it, so why are you getting after me? Trust me, Christians do that a lot. I say it all the time. Lord, how come I can't get away with bloody murder, but that dude can? Well, here's the, here's the thing about that situation. I'm in God's house. I'm under house rules of the Lord. So I have different parameters I have to look after. And they are all beneficial to me. That's the thing that people don't understand. They look at the Ten Commandments as, well, see, you Christians don't have fun. No, no, we just know where the borders are. We jump the border, we know what's going to happen. We know the dangers of such. With that, we everything else is safe. We know where the borders are. We know where the dark alleys are. And guess what? We're not robots. We can stroll our little self down there and get what's, what could happen when we go down that road. Something, nothing may happen. Something may happen. But what will happen is you'll keep thinking every time you walk down that road, it's going to be okay. And here's the worst. You see other people doing it too. That's, what re that's why religion is so enticing. Oh, I'm a Baptist, so that's why I believe the way I do. Well, you can't single me out. All the Baptists say that. You see how easy it is to just Shuck, just, just shuck responsibility. Just move it aside. The larger group of the crowd, the more likely there will be a de-individualization and a diffusion of responsibility. The bigger the comment section of supporters, the more, it, the, the more hostile it could become to those that maybe have a legit, like, why is this going this route? Why is nobody saying that person can get ganged up, jumped, talked bad on and then when the and then when of course this is what really blows it up and flames everything when the content creator the toxic content creator reads those things out loud starts laughing pointing out see that's right man that guy's a loser he's pathetic he's a now the group gets more and more inflamed comes out of control now how is it that this situation Relates to the Bible. I, I, you know we got to get to that point. How does this relate to the Bible? I am so glad you had. You guys are so sharp, man. Let's go ahead and let's go. Now, this is a long read. So maybe I'll do this at the end. I think for the sake of time, I'll do that at the end. However, um, the mob is important. To the creator and to themselves because no one's policing them they police themselves and when people stop agreeing with them they get kicked out oh ban this guy he was saying this behind your back you know th that happens a lot romans 122 i'm sorry 128 to 32 you're going to hear this read today a lot because we're going to see it played out and just as they did not see fit to acknowledge god any longer God gave them over to a depraved mind to do those things which are not proper, being filled with all unrighteousness, wickedness, greed, evil, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, malice. They are gossipers, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, arrogant, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, without understanding, untrustworthy, unloving, unmerciful, and though they know the ordinance of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death, they do not only do the same, listen to this, but they give hearty approval to those who practice them. You want to know why those content creators aren't getting called out every day on this chat? Well, I'm talking about to the majority, because there are people, again, that support them, love them, Ray, help pay their bills, tout their name. They become the customers. Here, here's another thing that's also that goes back to it. I hear you, I think the Lord just brought this back to me. Remember we talked about the brand image? You have the company, the identity, the customers, 
and the brand image and how that all goes together. Well, guess what? When you're part of one of these toxic creators, you know, content comment section, and you're one of their moderators, you're one of their patrons, you're one of their members, right? That's your identity. You're known for what he says. And as customers, they buy into it. And if you're one of them, you're buying into it. And the brand image is what? You stand with him. No matter what he believes, you stand with him because whatever he believes, you believe. That's how these people rise to the top. And we're going to see that in a very good, well-illustrated cartoon that I don't know where it comes from, but got to see it. Very powerful, very powerful. So hearty approval. Sunodikeo. No, that doesn't mean Sudoku. That's not the word, but Sunodikeo. Listen to this. To be pleased together with, together with others, to be pleased at the same time with, consent or agree or to applaud. Listen to the last verse 32 of Romans chapter 1. And although they know the ordinance of God, they know the Ten Commandments. Those who practice such things are worthy of death, knowing full well what's right and wrong, okay? Well, you should not be abusing people. You should not be lying to your public. You should not be using their weakness as your catalyst and vice versa. Not only do they know that death is coming, but they not only do the same. These are people that support your, your toxic creators. They're just miniature versions of them. And not only that, they give them hearty approval to keep practicing, keep going forward with it, keep going with it. Don't stop, low tier God, keep calling everybody them names. Don't stop, Phil, keep out there begging for money and, and, and making sure that you can use whatever you want to use on what you want. I actually saw a commenter, one of his supporters say, I don't care what he spends the money on, I enjoy his content. That's real. And that's across the board. Religion been doing it for a while. I don't know how many times I've seen pastors with better cars than some than some politicians. It's the same thing. That's my church. I go to that church and that it, and they become that pastor could lead them to hell and they wouldn't care until they get hot, until they realize they're not wearing a turtleneck and it's still hot in there. Happens. The blind leading the blind. That's what happens, guys. Listen to this. Now, uh, I don't necessarily agree with all this. But listen to this. My psychological training showed me that one doesn't get involved until one is personally affected. An underbelly of individualism. We are not so socialized to care for the fragile, including our elderly, the poor, the disabled. Modeled via television and social media, we are a consumer society. Receiving the message that happiness and status come from external circumstances. Is that not sound like anybody we know? It depends upon what neighborhoods we live in, what kinds of cars we drive, where our kids go to school, how much money we earn, what positions we achieve climbing up the corporate ladder. Where power is equated with money, the more one group has, the more power it holds over another. And why is that important to understand? Historically, those who have little or no money have nothing else to lose. That is the formula of the mom mentality. Imagine that. So here's the interesting part. A lot of people that support these content creators, these toxic ones, they're, they're poor. They're broke. But they want to identify with someone that they perceive to be greater. Been doing that in religion the whole time. Trying to buy your way closer to the to, to shine. Maybe a little bit of that rub off on you. I had a commenter tell me, low tier God is great. He's a positive influence. He, he shows, he tells people how to get healthy and how to how to train your mind and how to be positive. What the hell were they saying? But you see, they only see what they want to see. So when he gets mad, they get, will get mad because they're mad too. Because you're attacking someone they love. Very important when you hear that. This happens all the time. Listen to that. We're not socialized to care for the fragile, including our elderly, the poor, and the disabled. Nobody... You think these streamers give a damn about your mental health as, you, as, as, as you're part of their streams? You think they give a damn? Of course they don't. They cause a lot of mental health damage. Why the hell do they care? Mental health, if you're in a comment section of one of these toxic communities, 
You are putting your mental health at risk. They don't care. They don't give a damn about their mama. They don't give a about their daddy. And happiness and status comes from extra. These toxic creators, content creators, you're going to see them talk about, look at the life I live. Look at the car I drive. I grew up watching Cribs with, with Exhibit. Look at all these. I'm a baller. All that money. All that money spent on these luxurious things that their community, their supporters will never have. But since they put a few dollars in there, they're invested. Remember we just read that right there? My psychological training showed me that it doesn't get involved until one is personally affected. Emotions, man, it's powerful. It's very powerful. And it keeps going. It keeps going. It gets worse. So let's keep rolling through. We just read this, but we had to go over it again. The depraved mind to do the things which are not proper. Let's go down the list and then I'll keep moving. So in the toxic comment section, his supporters, their patrons, their memberships, the guys that pledge to pledge membership guys that donate all of these guys they support that depraved mind they enjoy that these people are filled with unrighteousness wickedness greed evil full of envy murder strife arrogant both i just skipped for the sake of time slanderer haters see these tax credits can slander anybody they want but how dare anyone say that about them? And their comment section won't tolerate it. It can get very serious real quick when you start attacking someone's emotional support system. As creepy as that may sound, these toxic creators, these, these, these content creators that, that live and breathe to abuse, these arrogant self-entitled men and women they are applauded for how they treat people even themselves they're applauding they're giving consent to treat them even like trash their own people that support them happens all the time happens all the time look at this to be pleased together to approve together to be pleased at the same time with consent agree to applaud notice group notice group this is all about the group mentality those who practice such things they give hearty approval to those who practice such things let's let's use that in a sentence they applaud they agree to those who exercise who are practiced who are busy carrying on they're accomplishing they're performing they're committed they perpetrate they manage public affairs they do transact uh, public businesses they exact they tribute their revenue and their debts what's it called it's called proso what does that mean they not only agree with them but they enjoy and empower them to keep carrying on their sinful ways. <laughs> now, we all know this cartoon. This is an interesting cartoon because this is whether if this is a good this is a good idea to look at to see what you guys in the comment section notice about this cartoon. There, so there's going to be a shift of power that happens. And crazy enough. This actually happens to the content creator. So let's let's get to the content creator that they finally reached a point to where they they what little audience they have still gives them a voice. Still gives them a voice. Maybe only a thousand subscribers, but that's something most people can't say they have. So now they got a voice. And so now. The, 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 the people that got them the fame, they're this little dog. The big swollen big dog, he's doing great, right? Because he's now got, maybe he got 10,000 now. You know, he, he, he can now say something and people will hear it. His comment section of those of supporters are now growing. And now the voices that got him there are getting treated like, remember, 
they're con getting consented, they're consenting, and they're agreeing how abusive the content creator is because they're, they're behind it. And this is a fair representation of what happens. Bus bike? You want it? Huh? Nah. You want to play? I want to play this game. You want to play that game? This game is great. Nah, I don't feel like it, man. Doesn't entertain me. Doesn't bring money into my channel. No, sir. No, thank you. You wouldn't like that. What do you, Spike? Hey, Spike. How about we chase cars, huh? Does that sound like fun? The very thing that got that content creator to fame, that got him fat, got his voice now being heard, is now, now he wants to set the rules. He can make the rules now because his voice is now greater than his comment section. His community now follows him and, and from his mind regardless. Because remember, they support and applaud him. He has a history now of where if someone disagrees with him outside of his community, he don't give a damn. He could care less. Why? Because in his community, he's accepted. And guess what? That could be a thousand, that's 10,000 plus people. Support, maybe it's a little bit less than that because you know there's bots and things, sock accounts, blah, blah, blah. But still, that's a good majority of people saying, I stand with him. I stand with him regardless. But they don't get as much say as they used to. Because the content creator now has, he has, he has, he has some strength. He can now move and go where he wants. And guess what? At this stage, this type of comment, this type of community, this type of commentators, this kind of moderators all fall in line because their hero has now grown where they wanted him to be or her. It gets worse. Now, listen to this part very clearly. This is a pivotal point. Where the content creator may be struggling. Maybe he's not pulling in the same views. Maybe what what got him famous, maybe that game is no longer acceptable anymore. Maybe people got bored with it. He has to change. Maybe he has to start listening to the cry. He, start, he starts taking advice from the people that got him there. Then he goes to a point where he says, I got to, maybe I need to start listening because I've ran out of ideas. I'm not as creative as I thought. Let me use my fan base as a Petri did. Let's see what they got in there and see if I can't cook from it. I got, I got, rather than just my, <clears throat> you know, ability to do these things, let me go ahead and tap into theirs. What are they going to do? They can't get mad. I'm going to take somebody's idea. What idea can I take that can get me famous? What idea can I take that'll put my, get my views to spike again, to have channel growth? What do I have to do? Because playing this game that no people find no longer interesting, that's, I, I ain't getting this, I ain't get as much money. I'm, I may be even losing those that are diehard fans. I got to do something. Then someone in the comment section or the comment section as a whole start to do this. Cat, would you like that spike? Huh? Would you like that? Huh? Spike? Cat, you know where is it? A cat? cat? Let's go you back and look. Let's listen to it. How about beating up a cat? Would you like that spike? Huh? Would you like that? Huh? Spike? Cat, you know where is it? A cat? Think about that. Where's? Let's go beat up a cat. Cat ain't done nothing. No, it's a cartoon. I get it. But look at the look, look at the comparisons. A cat. What has a cat done? Nothing. Let's go beat up a cat. Let's go take a topic. Let's go tape a particular group. Let's go after someone that can't defend themselves against a group. You think it's a shock that low tier God attacks people of transgender? Why homosexuality is important enough topic where he can just be disgusted with them. People with disabilities, people that are white, people that are skinny, people that are poor, people that are broke. That's the cat. Let's go after them. 
And my comment, remember, this is also coming from the, 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 the comment section. This is coming from his subscribers, his members, from his Patreon. These people are buying merch. They're going along with it. And then what happens? Yeah, sure, Spike, sure, sure. What I happens? know where's it a cap. Listen, to, you know the Bible was coming, brothers and sisters. You know it was coming. This ain't new. Proverbs chapter one. If they say, come with us, let us lie and wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without cause. Let us swallow him alive like hell. That's what Sheol is. Even whole as those who go down to the pit. We will find all kinds of precious wealth. We will fill our houses with spoil. Throwing your lot with us, we shall all have one purse. You see, there's nothing new under the sun, brothers and sisters. This has been going on since the dawn of time. Come with us. Hey, uh, groundskeeper Willie's toxic streamer. Man, you used we. Uh, what what made me follow you is because this kind of people look at them out there. They making they making fun of you, or maybe they're not even doing nothing. But we're disgusted by them. He feeds into it, and now he's attacking them. Because it's funny. It's bringing in views to make fun of people that, and guess what? It's not fun to do, but to the comment, to the crowd, to the mob, they, they, they don't like them either. So they, they egg on the comment creator who, to lean into his already published sins. Cause remember they got along, they got on with him because he was like them. And now he seems dry, tapped out, or maybe he's just depressed because he's low and low. We have to do something. The comment section, his supporters, we got to do something. So they steer the comment creator. It happens. I've watched it. Just because I'm new to the game don't mean I'm old to the game. I'm just new showing up. I've been watching. You got to stay relevant. You got to stay fresh or you'll lose your core audience. Well, guess what? Those are customers. If he's a good businessman or halfway decent businessman, his identity is being threatened now because the customers aren't believing in the brand image. But there is always a brain trust. There are those that believe in these killers, these murderers, these, these religious leaders, these men and women that will rob them blind and make them poor and go turn right around and make fun of the very people that are supporting him. That's just, this is the in crowd. Remember the mob is the in crowd. They may be just as poor as the people outside, but those are outsiders. They don't matter to them. Remember we just read that? We just saw the psychological profile of that? They don't take no response. Uh -uh, that ain't that ain't us. When you're with us, you ain't one of them. Yeah, you may be poor, but you're one of the good poor because you're on this side. Sound familiar? And guess what? This happens. Now you have, this is a great representation. Both of these are great representations of Dark Side Field before and after. Before he was the swollen, fat um, bulldog abusing the audience, abusing those that didn't agree with him, but definitely supporting and loving those that did. Now that audience that stayed with him are now dictating what he can and cannot do. Sure, he does have some say in it. Yes, he does have to say, well, I don't want to play that game. I don't want to do it. All they got to do is start pulling support. Right? And then he starts complaining. He starts getting nervous. And then when he leans in and gives in to what they want, the support comes back. When he pays attention to them, the support comes back. You and me as pals, ain't we, Chester? Huh, Chester? Yeah, Chester. Hey, you want us to take up some pounds for you? Huh, Chester? Huh, Chester? Huh? Huh? Nah. Just as Why aren't you watching these streams, guys? I'm playing the games that you like. Why aren't you supporting? Man, I used to do this last year. But now all of a sudden it's different. Why ain't you like, why is the support? Not? I'm playing the games you voted on. 
but I'm not getting any support. Oh, I'm getting a lot of people, tons of people coming to the, to the chat stream. Sure. People are coming to view it. Sure. But there's no money coming in. You ask for this, guys. That's the crowd controlling the content creator. Me hero, because he's so brave and strong. Just as my hero, because he's so strong. Yeah. Are we getting the idea yet? Are we seeing the bigger picture? I know you are. You're smart guys. This is it. This is how the content creator, the toxic one, of course, gets fed. DSP is a perfect character study of that cartoon we just watched. And it gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. And not political, but worse. Look at this. This cartoon that you're going to see is probably the best representation. So here's a toxic content creator that exposes and pushes a needle of his face. So you look, he pushes his face. He pushes a scar. He pushes another scar. This is a true representation of a content creator's life. He continues to show his pain. Look at this. He's not prepared. He's not prepared for the success that he has. But guess what? He can't stop because he's become a slave to it. He, so he, let's, let's look and examine what we saw in this cartoon. His pain was revealed. People loved it for it. They paid him for it. He's suffering. They paid him for it because he's voicing his concerns. They're taking, he's, he, he, he's, he's revealing himself, the, the worst sides of himself, and people are supporting it. People are outright supporting it. How do we get to that point? So every time, the more he exposes about his, his, his racism, they expose their hatred for others. They expose their disdain for others. They expose how they look at poor people. They look at how they look at people in general, how they look at people with disabilities, how they look on people with different sexual orientations, how they look at different religions, how they look at others. All of this goes into the toxic creator's mind. And the more he speaks out of his emotion, his anger, his hate, his gossip, his, his depraved mind. Remember we talked about that. His envy of them, his greed. Why ain't I making enough money as them? Why am I not getting the same breaks as them? How come I'm not one of the top streamers? I give them the best product possible. But you grow as a toxic creator as you feed your audience who are just like you. The content, the toxic content creator doesn't even understand that he is profiting on his own pain. He is literally being paid to be destroyed on stream. To where if they try to turn a blind eye, if they try to, um, well, let's, let, let's, let's, let's take another route because I'm just getting a little bit over on time. If they try to turn a new leaf, if they try to not be the toxic guy, if they try to change their views, maybe they legitimately change their views, but the money will stop. You saw that in this, this video. The money will stop. Your, your comment section, the commenters, the supporters, the members, the subscribers, people that pay money, the Patreon, people that pledge to these toxic streamers, they have a, a vested interest in him or her. Her pain, they want to solve it. But in the same, but in the same way, they're also making it worse because they're feeding the very things that are destructive to that person. Because remember, they're the voice of the voiceless, as he's, as is the comment section, the commenters. They speak for them. Even when the comment creator doesn't want to do it anymore, he's already, they created him. They made him who he is. He's really stuck more than anything else. 
Bible is very clear about this. None, not one of any toxic content creators, subscriber, members, Patreon pledgers, are, none of them are guiltless. Each one of them has some skin in the game. They helped lift that dude up. They lifted that girl up. They've been in Discord fighting off trolls for that person. Your community, you, you owe them toxic content creator. If you're delusional and arrogant, you're going to keep feeding them. If you grow a conscience, they will break you. They will outright break you. As creepy as it sounds, guys, people will support a killer. They'll support an abuser. We have a fascination with evil. Notice we like good fellas. We great we like seeing you. We enjoy to see the criminals succeed. If we're on and I'm not getting on my soapbox. I just took a I, I used the soap in the box. I ain't on a soapbox because I too root for the bad guy. I used to. Not as not nearly as much as I used to. Because that's my conscience. My conscience can't I can't act one way and be be another way. I'm not that guy anymore. If I don't like there are some movies I just can't watch because I can't see evil celebrated. That's me. I can understand an artistic vision of a movie. I can understand an artistic value in that movie. But it doesn't mean I can enjoy it anymore. Much like these toxic content creators compared to the, the regular content creators, I have a responsibility to you to always stick to what the real plan has always been. Give you an honest view of what God sees in man. Give you an honest view of what the Bible says. And my opinion on the Bible is irrelevant. It is what the Bible says. And I have a responsibility to God first. I am thankful for any one of you that are on the ride with me. That are on the ride with me and love the work. Whether you believe the way I do or not, I know that you're if you're signed up, you're following the run. And I'm glad. I may lose some subscribers after this video. I'm 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 well aware of that. But I have to keep being true to who God made me to be. I can't be anything else. This is a perfect illustration of that. This man is now stuck in his situation. Guys, I thank you so much for tuning in to um, this this broadcast. Uh, as, um, as we know about what happens in the, the toxic creators comment section, as what happens in behind this, well, there's no really behind the scenes because they live outside, they show everybody these things. The things we have to understand and relate to is what exactly is wrong with the, the toxic content creator. This video was to show and expose the real power behind the throne. It's the mob. The only way to get after the mob and to get the mob to understand their situation is where the detractors come in. This is where I love them for that. We got to reach the people to do it. And they do have, they have great ways of doing it. Mocking is one way to get people's attention. It, it, trust me, it works. But in the end, what doesn't work is if there's nothing to give them once they are let loose. If they're successful at getting rid, let's say someone pulls a, 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 a subscriber, a member, a patron, they, let's say we won one from Phil. Where do they go? Where are they going after that? Because if there's nothing else for them, they'll just find another one. It happens. Human nature is that way. God gives a way for sinners that attach themselves to these types of individuals that need of fellowship. It, listen, let, 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 let's let the cat out the bag now. Let's talk about it. 
humanity. We are a social creature. God made us that way. Genesis chapter 2. It's not good for man to be alone. True. Be fruitful and multiply. That That's us. We're social creatures. We socialize. We hang. Why do you think we love thy neighbor as you love yourself? One of the things we understand about these content creators is they don't love themselves. And the people that support them don't love themselves. This video is to give anyone that's watching, anyone that's hearing my voice. I was no different than the kingmakers, the mob, and the one that I was I, that was held up to that. I have used so many employees to to rise in business. They were the comment section to me. I can go to any one of them, man. I've messed up today. Where oh, Eric, you know you're the greatest guy. It happens. It's so easy to get that, but it's hard when you're on either side when you get when you pull out of it. Let me tell you something. If not for God, I'd be back in there. That's the thing that people don't understand about Christianity as a whole. When God says, not only will I save you from hell, not only will I, I've given you my son who completed the Ten Commandments. All I'm asking of you is to repent and know that you did evil toward me. And believe and trust in God. Believe and trust in Christ. Believe in the very word that I said. And I will bring you home. To a home you've never been. Let me tell you something. There is a peace of mind that I have every day. No matter if my day went great. Or my day was craptacular. My mind is still safe with God. To where when. I get if I'm if I'm in that mood, if I'm feeling I'm feeling a Drake way and I'm watching a detractive video, I'm watching a video of somebody's making fun of somebody, and I'm laughing and just, oh, that's so good. I just, that reality check comes in. As fun as it may be, that's a human being. And he's being destroyed right before our eyes. That's why I'm a, that's why I, I am on here every day. Well, not every day, but every time I get an upload of me trying to help. These content creators, these toxic ones, starting with Phil, because he's the worst of the worst. Well, not really, he's just he's kind of mild in certain areas, but enough to where he's doing a lot of damage. And unfortunately, I'm seeing the damage done to him, and he doesn't even see it. Thank God for the detractors that have been here long before I got here, doing great job. Great. If I need to go look up something, I go look at their fantastic videos. But in the end, my job is simple, to preach the truth of God, to tell people that you do not have to keep suffering in slander and gossip. You don't have to be that person anymore. When God says, I offer to give you a new nature, that's not just a metaphor. Your whole mindset changes. Your very nature changes. I don't have the same views I used to have after I was saved. I don't have the same music taste. I don't have the same food taste. I, I have a complete change of mind on where I'm going, what I'm doing every day. Now, I do have memories. My mind is still sick, but the heart, the spirit man is clean. And that internal war that happens for every Christian, it can be displayed publicly or behind closed doors and it's Christ who solves a lot of those problems and ones that that we don't that we that we think are not being solved are not meant to be solved some things are meant to be cut loose and be cut away from you anyway you need to watch the creators, the content creators that you look to, you have to be mindful that whatever you're supporting, that you can live with that in your conscience, that they are not being harmful to someone else. I'm asking you to do that. If you're listening to me at the sound of my voice and you watch Philip, you watch Low T, you watch any of these guys that are very corrosive to the human condition, 
every dime dollar super chat patron pledge membership whatever every dime and dollar you spend there's blood on your hands they have hurt someone they have damaged someone and they're going to have to pay for it matthew 12 36 but i tell you that everyone will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken yes you may be in the mob but God is go is coming to you individually. And you got to give account for what you supported. I love you guys very much. We are nearly at 600 uh, subscribers. Fantastic. My comment section is fantastic. Our content, our comment section is blowing up. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for being patient with this video. It takes a lot to be able to put this video together, mainly because I got to be thoughtful about what I say about God to you guys, because it's very important to understand that God is very merciful, very merciful. There is nothing that you could do that's so dark or so destructive that God can't forgive and try to heal in your life. And I say try because you got to want it. This call to being saved is for everybody. It ain't exclusive to no one. No one, Black, white, green, yellow. I always tell people, where, what if an alien landed outside and you realize the alien was alive? Well, I'm going to go grab my Bible and go preach the gospel to them aliens. Maybe they're flying around this whole time trying to find somebody that can preach the gospel to them. I don't know, but I can tell you this much. I'm going to keep going or die trying. Every one of your voices matter. Whether you believe the way I do or not, your voice matters. You don't need to have someone speak for you. You have a strong enough voice on your own. You can speak for yourself. Don't let the mob speak for you. And if you think your voice is not heard, then I will help you get your voice heard. As God is my witness. I love you very much, guys. In Jesus' name, amen. But wait, there's more. I was like, she was like, do you want an egg sandwich? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't eat eggs. And then she was like, no, 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 let me get you something. And then she was like, you're my hero. Let me get you whatever you want. And I'm like, I'm not a hero. Don't call me that. But I would take an Oreo box. So she plugged me. <laughs> um, This is bonus content because you thought I forgot to tell you the Rittenhouse effect, right? So think about this interview for a second. Watch it. Think about everything I just said. Everything we just preached and we heard about, we listened to together about the toxic content creator. And let's now look at this boy, not for the political firestorm that's around him, not for the very nature of if he's white, black, doesn't matter. But he's a hero to someone. He killed someone in cold blood, flat out. Eric, he was trying to defend himself. I, I get it. A child took a gun into a volatile situation. And somehow he's surprised that he had to use it. I can't blame him all the way. Because what happened to this man's life is what the mob did. Think about all the things he watched on television. Think about all the people around him that were saying, look at how powerless these businesses are. Someone had to do something. The mob formed this man's walk right now. Remember, he just killed someone. Not just, he murdered someone. Do you think he feels anything? Look, let's, let's, let's watch. Do you think he feels anything? Listen. <laughs> like Oreos and gummy bears. So I had like, one of your only things that you requested was it literally just said, you know, must have hot Latina, Latina chick next to me. That was my, my only request for the entire show. And that was his writer. Sarah, his answered, whole writer. Sarah was like, damn, Kyle wants hot Latina chick. And she I'm checked here. the box and she came in. No, but we, we got you what you asked for. <laughs> you think I was a bully or something? Listen, listen, <laughs> I, I'm just, it's just nice. Like you're just a nice kid. And I think it's nice that you came out of like such a shit situation wanting to do nice things for other people. Yeah. I mean, that's it, it shows a lot about your character does. and your it really integrity. Does. does it bother you that they keep calling you a kid? Think about what we just heard. Think about it. Why is this clip important? Not only because it's bonus content, because you guys are awesome, but this is a comment section 
every day to these content creators that are toxic. You just came out of a crap situation because you killed someone. And that's BS situation. You killed someone. He's smiling, laughing. You just took someone's life. You took someone's son. And they don't get that back. And you're on a podcast being celebrated and hailed as a hero. I want you to think about that. This I told you this was a serious episode. Kyle Rittenhouse is no different than any of these toxic streamers out there. Well, they ain't killed nobody. They've killed people's hopes. They may have killed people's self-esteem. They have by an outright murdered someone's concept of hope and maybe their voice could be heard. You'd be surprised how fragile the human mind is. You'd be surprised how many people really look up to people that they really shouldn't because these people seem powerful and they feel weak. And these people take advantage of it. Kyle Rittenhouse is weak. People around him took advantage of that, celebrated that, made him feel something and that could, why would you want your son or daughter to have that under their belt? You killed someone and you got to an answer for that. And God does not weigh your works by society. He weighs it by himself. Thou shall not kill. That never changed. And you got to own it. It's self-defense. Thou shall not kill. If you wanted to be safe, if you wanted to make change, there are ways to do it. But walking out of a house, putting his life in danger and the danger of, and lives of other people in danger. Guess what? Content creators have a responsibility to not weaponize their own comment section. And the mob must not weaponize the content creator because words do hurt and they last a long time. But I just want to show you this clip to show exactly what happens in the comment section, what happens at Patreon. This happens all the time. Whether you agree with Kyle Rittenhouse or not, I could care less, to be honest with you. But what I do hope you care about is that this young man is just as much as a victim as the man that he killed. He is a product of the mob. I just hope you see it because God sees it. Love you guys. Thank you for listening for the bonus content. Those that listened all the way through, I love you. Those that didn't still love you. But if you hear this, that means you at least listen to some of it. So love you very much. See you guys in the next episode. It should be more cheerful and more upbeat, but I had to get this out. So love you guys very much. Please, please, please. If you like the video at all or dislike the video, you got a like button, you got a dislike button. Tell me in the comment section why you liked it or didn't like it. I will talk to you. I'm not going to belittle you. Don't come in trying to roast me because I cook really good. I'm just kidding. So anyway, guys, just I love you very much. Like, share, and subscribe. It matters. When we get to a 1,000, man, the, the, the wheels are about to really start spinning. But I love you guys very much. You matter. Your voice matters. Trust me when I tell you this. God does hear and see you. And I am living proof that anybody can be saved. Love you very much, guys. See you in the next video. I'm praying for you. In Jesus' name, amen.